you doing, everybody? This is Sleep, member of Memes and Dreams and Quantum of Tic Tac Toe, coming to you with another PSO2 video. And today we're going to go over my Gunner Hunter build. Currently, the level cap on NA is 75. We have a grand total of 89 skill points available to us. I'm going to show you how I've gone about working that and setting that up. You can see I have hit level cap. My subclass is very close, level 72. Still working on some of the X cubes, uh, the class specific X cubes for this as well. But I'm going to go ahead and share the build with you guys so you can understand exactly why I'm doing this and maybe help out a couple gunners along the way. We also have a mag status report. We have raised a perfect 200 range attack mag. Bravo. Remember, feed it guns till the dex is about to get up, then feed it furniture. It's the key to life. Five star furniture for range. 4 star for melee, 6 star for tech. But without with that out of the way, let's uh let's dive into the build. So I do play Gunner Hunter. Gunner Hunter has a very very good DPS at the current time. So, let's go over exactly what I've done. Obviously, all four skills here at the top are free. They I say free, they do not cost any skill points to learn. My use of the level requirement. Level 10, 20, 30, 30 and 40. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, some of these skills are just learned by default. Twin Machine Guns Mastery is not. I highly recommend you pick that up. We're going to go over everything, and I'm going to explain why. You have to put three points into this ability to get the rest of the tree. That's why we put three points into it. Obviously, our focus is our gear. We have to get our gear. Uh, we skip Deadline, Automate Deadline, which is an ability that would automatically use a recovery item if our health fell below 25% because we picked up a skill in our subtree for that. Showtime. We only want to put two points into showtime. We're not using showtime for the gauge filling, for the gear filling rate. We're using it for everything else. Only five points in chain trigger. I don't see much point in actually maxing out chain trigger. And this is my personal experience because you're not using it often enough. You use it for big boss fights. You never really use it for mobbing. You know, whenever you're using it for a boss, Usually you're going to kill the boss with that chain. You're not going to have to chain again. Put five points there. Chain finish bonus, obviously. Just picked it up in case we don't finish that boss. This will help get the chain back quicker, but we don't need to put any more than five points in chain trigger. You can if you want. I do not recommend it. Uh, we put eight points in chain finish. I actually have two gunner skill points left to get. They will go into this. We're going to finish chain finish off. And that's going to maximize our TPS here. Showtime star. Three points is all we're going to put into this. We don't really care too much about the PP gain, though it is nice and temporary. Uh, with my current setup, I get around 156, I want to say, PP with a Showtime active. And Showtime should always be active. So it's not terrible, but it's not really worth putting points into. And point blank boost one. I'm going to explain this again to some people who aren't familiar. I say this all the time in the actual PSO2 fleet, Discord of the Arcs fleet. Gunner is a melee class that uses guns. So zero, or it used to be called zero range. Uh, point blank, absolute must. A ton, a ton of damage comes out of this. It's a 10% boost. We go down. There's another 10% boost. We get a 50% crit. Remember how I explained crit? In my original PSO2 guide video, I'll explain it again here. Crit means you're constantly getting your max damage roll. So there is no potential variance. When you crit, you should be consistently seeing the same number, assuming it's the same part of the same attack. You should crit maximizes your damage roll. So we want as much crit as we can get. Attack PP restore it is so that we don't really run out of PP too much. I really like it. Perfectionist is fantastic. Stay above 75% HP. Free 20% power. Awesome. Encore time, I pick up. Uh, this just means if you don't get hit during showtime, showtime automatically resets itself. You don't have to proc it. Only happens once, but it does happen enough. And it's, it's very good. Uh, time save. This is for high time. So we can actually get hit. Uh... Yeah, we decrease the, the focus gate direction. We, we decrease our, our gear less uh, whenever we get hit by showtime. High time, as long as we don't get, get hit during showtime, we get a stacking damage buff. 
and with high time, it maxed out, it goes up to 20% more damage. Incredible. And there's actually a uh, skill ring, time after time uh, preservation, that works with time save, it means we can get hit a little bit. We can get hit a little bit. If you don't want to get hit, as a gunner, you really should never get hit, but there's some forgiveness built in. Uh, double chain means that with normal attacks on twin machine guns, your chain doubles. So normally a twin machine gun, each normal fire shoots four times. With twice or a double chain, it counts as eight on your chain. So that's great. A stylish roll up, I usually maximize this. You're going to be stylish rolling a lot, and stylish rolls are just important. Uh, you could you could say I made a mistake here. I would almost agree with you. I don't really do the PP consumption, at least not right now in NA, on stylish rolls. There's a lot of damage to be had there, but not right now. So I went and just put two points in that, and then got my stylish roll perfect attack bonus. So whenever I come off my stylish roll into a grim barrage, or into a, a true equilibrium, or into a satellite aim, I get a little nice damage buff, 6%. You could very easily take these three points and max out styl stylish roll finisher, no problem with me. Uh, I just don't particularly use this ability that much currently, and that's because we don't have a, a ability from JP that would be up in this second to the left tree called another SR's roll mode, which may stylish roll do a crap ton of damage. But that's essentially the tree. So again, we're gonna put our last two points into chain finish, and that'll do it. That'll finish off the gunner tree. And that's, in my opinion, the best way to play, to not to play gunner, but to spec your gunner. Now let's go look at our subclass. We are subbing hunter for this. So let's take a look. Uh, all these are claimed, obviously, free. We have to put five points in HP up. It's not terrible. HP up is one of the, the more forgiving skills. Ideally, we'd only have to put like three, maybe just one, but we have to put five. Fury stance uh, comes down here. Obviously, Fury Stance is just a free damage buff. Less powerful for ranged attacks, but still very good. So we max out Fury. We're going to max out our per perfect attack bonuses. Basically, everything relating to Fury Stance gets capped here. Uh, Fury Stance is just fantastic. It's a bunch of free damage buffs. As long as you're not messing up, you should always be just attacking. You should always be hitting things. You should always be in on top of them when you're playing Gunner. And Fury Stance rewards you for doing that. You get a, a stacking power buff. Every time you hit a just attack, you get more damage. It's it's great. You might have seen the little something special in this build over there. So we have, we have come down to this right side. We only put three points into Guard Stance. Never put more than three into Guard Stance. It is a worthless stance. Worthless. I have never seen a player actually use Guard Stance in high-end play. And I don't think I ever will. Why would you want to give up damage? Instead of increasing damage, you're sacrificing damage. So we didn't pick up automate deadline or automate, like, I think it was called deadline. Because we're going to pick up automate half line on your subclass. Works the same, except this is when we hit 50% HP. So if we pop a mate when we hit 50% HP, odds are with die mates and tri mates, we're going to go back up over that 75% threshold for perfectionist. It's much better at keeping that than Automate Deadline, in my opinion. Then we come down here to Flash Guard. This is where the remaining skill points are going to go. I'm going to end up with one extra. One extra skill point. Uh, I can either put that in one of these, either Flash Guard 2 or Flash Guard, uh, or Flash Tech Guard. Let's call it Flash Guard Tech. But I don't know yet. I'll make that call when I get there. Either or doesn't make a huge difference. Flash Guard is just a flat damage reduction for striking and uh, ranged attacks. Hunter Physique, you might recognize uh, from a skill ring. There is a skill ring that gives this skill. This is an active ability that when you proc it, you get 25% damage reduction. You become immune to knockbacks, or not knockbacks, uh, knockdowns. And it's great. It's phenomenal. One of the best actives in the game. Getting knocked down is how most people die. You get what's called stun locked. Whenever you get knocked down, if you miss your just reversal, Hunter Physique means you don't have to worry about that. Flat damage reduction. It's up almost all the time. It's fantastic. Love this ability. And that's 
that's my gunner hunter build uh, I'm still working on the units obviously I don't have any Psyche I don't have Noriga I don't have uh, Brissa I don't have any of those I'm still working on the weapons right I'm still rocking slaves I need to change out this rifle I just bought a uh, elder rifle from the shiny stone shop which is much better than this piece of garbage I'm gonna be putting that in but I'm still rocking pretty basic stuff here and I'm doing great I'm doing really well and extremely hard so I'm grinding out ultimates it's been fantastic but that's been my gunner hunter skill tree I will have a link to this down in the description below in case you want to try it out on your own character remember I am on ship 3 if you're in the neighborhood be sure to look by uh, my team tends to frequent like blocks 9 or blocks 40 and uh, let us know if you're interested if you have any questions about what choices I made, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I will get back to you. Uh, that's all I got for you. I've been asleep. Until next time, take care.